Good morning, Coco. Do you think the sunrise is pretty too? Is that why you're here? You're looking at the sunrise? Yeah? You wanna go outside, don't you? Maybe later. Good morning, you guys, and welcome to Vlogmas Day. What day are we? 23? Are we 23? Oh my god, welcome to Vlogmas Day 23. Um, this morning, I decided I really wanna try a dirty chai. So, I made some coffee, I put it in the freezer so that it cools down, because I made it this morning. I really wanna make a dirty chai, so I got a recipe online, and let's do this. All right, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to froth some oat milk and some vanilla creamer to put on top. But basically, um, how the recipe explains it is you need coffee, chai concentrate, you put those in together with ice, and you don't even need to add milk. Um, the way I understood it is that the chai kind of like replaces the milk that you would add in the coffee or like the coffee replaces the milk in the chai something like that but um i'm still gonna add oat milk and creamer that i'm going to froth together and put on top i think that's gonna be really really yummy so let's do it this would be the perfect time to have a frother but i do not have this little thing though so this is my mixture right here and let's froth this Okay, so I just added some ice into my coffee and I'm realizing I have quite a lot of coffee in this. Um, but we're gonna add some chai. I don't think I'm gonna do half a cup. I might do like a third of a cup. Yeah, probably do that. A third of a cup. Why is the lighting funny? There we go. So, a third of a cup. into my coffee mixture. It smells nice. And then, I'm gonna put you guys down for this. You guys, look at this. Now, if that isn't Starbucks worthy, I don't know what is. You guys, I can't even believe I just made this. Like, look at how freaking good this looks. All right, let's try this. Cheers. Mm hmm Oh, yeah, that's good. Honestly, did not know what to expect. But this is good. This is, like, my type of iced coffee chai latte mix. Like, this is really, really good. All right, I'm gonna drink that. And... I don't know what else I'm doing. Today is the first day that I am not working and of like for the next two weeks until January 11th, hopefully. Hopefully everything can reopen after that. Um, but yeah, today's probably gonna be a pretty chill day or maybe we'll do things today because it's raining tomorrow, but we shall see. I have no plans for today at all. What is up you guys? I just got dressed. Today's outfit is a long sleeve oversized shirt from Abercrombie & Fitch my aligned leggings and i'm gonna put my air force ones on we are heading out so i'm heading out i'm gonna go to home sense if you watched two vlogs ago vlogmas day 21 i believe um i went to home sense with alex and i found my dream coffee table that i've been looking for for a few months so i'm gonna go back today if it is there i'm buying it if it is not it wasn't meant to be so i just added a couple jewelries on i put this necklace right here that Alex got me a few years ago and I hardly ever wear it and I feel bad so I'm putting it on because it's really really cute oh it's on the wrong side it's really really cute and I don't wear it often so I thought I would wear it today um sometimes like you lose jewelry like it goes really in the back of your drawers and everything I just took this one out and I'm wearing my Majuri bracelet and this little bracelet that Alex got me so the Majuri one is the gold one and then the one with the little diamonds on it is the one that Alex got me. So, now I'm heading out the door. All right, you guys, it is snowing today. Oh my God, but we love the snow, especially on the 23rd. I am crossing my fingers that by the 25th, there will be snow on the ground. Like, an inch or two of snow everywhere would be beautiful for Christmas. But um, 
we shall see. We haven't had a white Christmas in a while. Anyways, my battery is flashing. I was supposed to charge my camera last night, my bad. But um, we're gonna head to HomeSense right now. All right, you guys, I got the table. It's at the front, I just paid for it, but I need to wait for my mom to get here because my car doesn't fit the table in it. So I'll show you guys what it looks like once I get home. For now, I'm gonna stay in HomeSense and see what they have, and I'm gonna wait for my mom to get here, and then I'm gonna show you guys, I'm so excited. Definitely have enough blankets at home, but how cute is this blanket? And it's so fuzzy, and I think it's like a king size blanket. I really like this basket, but I wanna wait until we receive our couch to get a basket but like $40 for this huge ass basket is a really good price like look at all the baskets that they have this little unicorn looks exactly like a Pandora charm that they have and also how cute would this be in the middle of the table with like a candle remotes and like another decor piece right there that would be so cute you guys we're back home and I have the table right here my mom just left and so did Alex Alex is going to play hockey with some of his friends and my mom, she's going back home. But the table is here. I'm going to unwrap it and show you guys what it looks like right now. Like Alex said, it doesn't really go with our aesthetic, but it will soon. All right, you guys, I placed the table. And honestly, like Alex said, it really does not go with our aesthetic right now. But I feel like with a white rug underneath, what is up you guys i'm coming at you a bit later because my battery died but this is what the table looks like i think it looks really really nice i love it but as i was saying earlier um it doesn't match the aesthetic of the living room yet i think that with a white rug and our new couch that is supposed to arrive in january it's gonna look great and obviously like there are things on it right now that are not going to be there full time so yeah I'm proud and I'm happy to have this new table. I'm I'm actually like so happy. You guys have no idea. All right, you guys. So I'm feeling a bit sleepy. So I want to try the French vanilla that we got from Tim Hortons. Well, not from Tim Hortons, but we got it from Costco with the Tim Hortons branding on it. So I really want to try their French vanilla. And then I'm going to start dinner because I think I'm making this split pea soup and I'm pretty sure it's going to take a couple hours maybe to cook or something like that and it's already four o'clock so i'm gonna get that started and then i really want to go like on a car ride down one of the streets in ottawa they have a really nice street that's all decorated like all the houses they decorated like really ni really nicely for christmas so maybe we'll do that guys i've got my milk heating up right here and i've got two french vanilla cappuccino um what are these like powdered yeah, they're out. I'm going to make one for me, one for Alex, and I'm going to go open a candle in the living room. So I just opened the vanilla balsam candle. This candle smells so good. I know that the Bath & Body Works where we live doesn't have it anymore, but if you guys can still find it, get this candle. It smells so good. This one are the fresh balsam. And if you can't get it this year, definitely get it next year because it smells so freaking good. You guys, I wish you could smell this. It smells so freaking good. It smells literally like walking into a cafe. This is what it would smell like. Like, oh my God. All right, you guys, I thought I would bring you guys along for our dinner tonight also because I am making a new recipe. I've kind of made this recipe before, but it's kind of new because I'm actually going to follow it this time and try not to wreck it. We are making this yellow split pea soup and I got all my ingredients out. I've got some carrots, some ham, onion, the split peas that I have soaking in water, some chicken broth, some celery, thyme leaves, bay leaves, parsley, oregano, salt, pepper, and olive oil. And I have my pot right here and I have our French vanilla right here that is finishing up. I'm just waiting for Alex to get out of the shower so that we can try them together. So I'm going to chop up my veggies, saute them. So I think I need to saute the onions, carrots, and celery together first. Then I'm going to add in the rest of the things and I'll definitely show you guys what I'm making. All right, you guys. So Alex and I are going to taste test the Fren French vanilla cappuccino. It smells like vanilla. Yeah. It smells like a cafe. Like when you yeah, go into Tim. Exactly. Tim Horton smells like that when you go in. So well, we're it's, going it's to from Tim Hortons. As exactly, well. we're going to taste this. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Yep. Oh, that's that's pretty good. That's I really good. The, it's the very vanilla. sweet though. Yeah. I, it's like sweeter than the hot chocolate. Yeah, I would probably add more milk next time. I think you would do that. What do you think? Oh yeah. Because it's, still it's be like a... the hot chocolate. It did. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll. I add... would honestly, because it mm -hmm. says what three quarters? No, it was one cup this time. Or like it oh, says okay. six ounces and the other one was five. Exactly, yeah. Okay. So pro I was like, okay, a cup. But I would add more. I would add a little bit more. Like I would add it so that it fills up my cup. I mean, it's really good, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, no, this is good. It's hot. 
I'm gonna add cold milk in it though to like make it less concentrate because it's very very sweet and I know that I'm going to feel sick if I drink this entire thing so definitely recommend you try it out just add a bit more milk than what the packaging says on it all right you guys so I have my onions celery and carrots sauteing in this I'm now going to cut up my ham right here and then the last step is to add in the rest of the ingredients and let it simmer for an hour and a half so <laughs> Um, that's what I'm going to do and I'll give you an update once I have everything in there All right, you guys I have added in all the ingredients and now they have to cook for an hour and a half So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put the lid back on it and I'm going to cook it and Every 30 minutes I'm going to come see it and mix it to make sure that everything is going smoothly and that it doesn't stick in the bottom of my pan Because if it does it's gonna be a pain to remove you guys look at how good this looks Let me mix it to show you guys what it really looks like like, look at this. This is going to be so yummy. I'm so excited and it smells so good in the apartment right now. Oh my God, I can't wait to show you guys the final product. All right, you guys, this is the final product. Look at how yummy this looks. I did end up adding in some broth because it was really, really thick. And sadly, it sticked to the bottom of my pan. So really keep an eye on it and mix it frequently because I literally left it like for just over 30 minutes alone and it's stuck to the bottom of my pan so lesson learned but this is what it looks like and we are going to go eat now all right you guys we are getting ready because we are gonna go see some Christmas lights about like 30 minutes away from here there's like this road that people just really decorate really well so we're gonna go check those out I'm pretty sure I already talked about this a bit earlier but yeah, we're gonna go and I'm gonna bring you guys along. All right, you guys, we were actually sent to the wrong place, but I really need to show you guys this house right here. Look at how cute it is. So we're now heading to the right place right now. All right, you guys, so we are here, but we are stuck in traffic because apparently this road that is all decorated is actually like a big thing and there's like a lot of cars right here to come see it. So we're literally in traffic right now, but um, <laughs> it's a little long, but uh, it's gonna be nice. I'm so I excited. Hope, I hope it's gonna be really nice. I mean, well, I mean, if there's this exactly. many people, it has to be nice. It has to be. Well, it's popular. That's for sure. Exactly. So we're really excited, but I'll update you guys as soon as we um, see more lights. I'm excited, and yes, our faces are red because there the is a car in front of us. Exactly. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. We are back home now and I have done my nighttime skincare routine. I'm going to bed So I thought I would come on here to end the vlog But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed um, the place that we went to in Ottawa is called Taffy Lane And it was really really nice, but I Thought there would be a bit less people there than what there was which is totally fine um, But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe down below for more And I will see you guys tomorrow for vlogmas day 24 Christmas Eve. I'm so excited Be back tomorrow. We're gonna have a fun day. Bye guys <laughs>